Welcome back to Shootfish, and this is a Webley Mark 1 1925.22 air pistol. Um, we've done a previous video where we fixed it up for a friend. Um, he brought it back, he keep it in his garage, and the, the surface rust has started popping through. So we gave it, cleaned it up, I gave it a spray with some lacquer. And when he brought it back to me, I was pretty amazed how, how good it still looks. So the lacquer done the trick. Uh, so I'm just going to give a little talk about it, tell you all about it for those who haven't seen it before and then we're going to take it outside and give it a good shoot. So uh, if you're interested in that, keep watching. So, as I said, this is a Mark 1 Webley, uh, made in 1925. That's a, f a friend of mine, uh, belonged to his father. He, he told me he used to shoot it as a kid. He used to put stones in it and stuff and sort of wrecked it a bit. So we fixed it up. It's got a handmade leather washer, which we made out of an old leather work glove. Um, he brought it back. I like say we cleaned it up. I gave it a spray. I have given it an, an oil up. Um, so when we take it outside to shoot it, that's all ready to rock and roll. So what can I tell you about it? Um, you've got a safety on this side, which is quite novel, a little twist knob. Not the sort of thing we're used to with our modern guns just locks the trigger basically very firm and secure um, to, to load it and cock it you pull back a lever there this barrel lift up and this spring in this gun is actually I'm not going to do it right now you'll see when we get you so you basically cock it the lever pull the gun and that sort of works in reverse to a normal brake barrel gun where that's compressing it this way and pressing down and then the air is coming up and out of the barrel. Um, slightly different operation to most um, air guns. That's quite unique to, to Webley that I think they still make a, a modern version of it. Uh, very popular. This is the Mark 1 where it's got a sloped handle. Um, some of the later ones, the, the handle sit more square down. I, I think I prefer this one just, just, just for the looks of it. Um, nice little gun, 0.22. We'll give it a test power wise as well on the chronograph to let you know what, what sort of power that's pumping out. So let's say you cock it by pulling that up. There's no ring in there. Yeah, that was like a, an old leather thing. We've now got a modern rubber O-ring in there. So it's probably not sealing quite as well as it should, but either way, that's still shoot all right. So let's take it outside and give it a good shoot. So what we're gonna do is take some uh, test shots. See how it's going since we last fired it. That is a man's gun, yeah. guys. Do you know what? This is quite easy to load compared to a lot of modern pistols, especially single shot ones. Like your, uh, what's it, your yeah. rack thing? Like putting your pallet in, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that wear rack is really, that's a man. That's a man. Yeah, get one in yeah the compared that. to that, yeah. So I did oil it Daz, so if I diesel a bit mate, um yeah, I'm just gonna aim for the fake bean tin, just to see how the sights are. Shooting a tad high because I hit the fish above it. You hit the fish mate. So I mean this is like a 12, 12 yard, 10, 12 yard range, that ain't really that long but yeah. so I'm shooting a little bit high, so what I'm gonna do, aim at the bottom of the pink tin beans and uh, Take it from there, yeah? Yeah. Sounded like I hit it. Yeah, I saw a twitch. So yeah, shooting. Just aim a little bit. Go for that other tin, the uh, Red Bull tin. Red Bull? Pretty much well on. Let's have a look. That didn't hardly move. We decided that was glanced. But that, that pellet went straight for that bean tin, Daz. Yeah. Wow, that must be, have some. We'll test that in a minute. Wow. Well, that is impressive. Let's see if I can uh, hit one of these prototypes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah go for that. Yeah. It's got quite a heavy trigger on as well, which is. Uh, that do take some getting used to, don't it? Oh, um, yeah. It's not your typical sort of gun, is it really? I've got a pellet seat here in there, Daz, if that's any help. So, right, I hit the backstop on that one. So that's high, you should left, or right, one or the other. Or low. There's a little bit of wind there, isn't there? <laughs> I'll 
give it one more and let's have a little power test on it, I think. Yeah, because um, the drawback with them old guns is you, there's no ready facility for putting a sight on them, is there? No. Other than the what's with it. I hit the wood right beside it, you can see where I hit it. So yeah, that is pretty low. Let's have a, let's have a ping with my goggles on, see if uh, we get the same sort of results. It's like you say, loading this is a really nice. Yeah, it's a bit tight, isn't it? So get the old pallets here on that. There we go. That's better. Well, I've just got to go for the bean tin. Hope I don't hit my camera, my range camera. Missed. Yeah. Well, I'll probably aim that and inch below the bean tin. Should I head for the front and pan? <laughs> <laughs> Might hit that. Oh, I am. I'm just going to go for that left hand farm power. Center of it. Well, I hit it. You hit it in the center. So I can hit the center. I hit the center, yeah. So I can hit a barn door with this. No problem. No? Alright, I'm just going to have one more shot. One more, and then we'll power test it. Right, I'll go for. Uh, I'm going to go for the bean tin again. You say shooting high? Yeah, you're aiming about an inch below the tin. Boom. Boom. Is that yeah, hold it? I didn't. No. Oh. Perhaps the first one was diesel in a bit. Two point three. Give it one more. Just one more. Did you use the pellet seater? Yeah. All right. There we go. Right, shot. Two point five oh. one. Two hundred seventy nine feet per second. Slow Not velocity, bad. but like because it's heavy pellet. Yeah, so. yeah. Two and a half a pound. An old gun with a homemade leather washer. Leather washer. I have a glove. Yeah. Still got the, all the original serial numbers and everything on it. Yeah, I noticed that. It's, um, got the little arrow etched into the to the safety. Yep. Should I better put it on safe if I'm pulling it towards myself. Yeah. So that's the 1925 Webley Mark One. Uh, when we restored. So if you want to see that, not restored. That's probably just got working again. We got it working again. We fi <laughs> fixed. We fixed it up. We're not gunsmiths. We fixed it up. We made a homemade washer for it. Um, I still work and after 98 years. Thanks for watching and uh, if you like this gun and any of the others we've been showing uh, please like, subscribe, comment. We'll always be in there talking to you so uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>